Yo, welcome to Beats and Tech. Yo, I'm Man at Arms, and just uh, wanted to share a quick video with you regarding uh, Android devices. I wanted to make this for all my Android people because it seems like um, constantly run into situations where people only talk about iOS devices. Yeah, so what this is is a program or application called Samsung Flow. If you're not using it, you should be. And I'll tell you why. Um, what Samsung Flow is an application that allows you to connect to your Samsung S series device. Let me say that specifically S series. So anything from basically going all the way back to a Galaxy S6 all the way up to your Samsung Galaxy uh, S23 Ultras or whatever the most recent one. And I believe the default devices, those have compatibility with the application. I'll show you the listing here the galaxy tab yeah they have those here so here's a listing of all the devices <clears throat> so what this is is basically like i said it's an application that allows you to connect to your phone remotely via your windows desktop um you install a component a component on your desktop and then you install the uh, samsung flow application on your phone um the application is a, just kind of a, a quick download I'll show you it here and I'll also put it in the actual description of this video. So you got the, uh, the download from the Google Play Store. So you just go here, grab and install it on your phone and the application link here for Windows, download it, install it. And once you get that, and I already have it installed on mine. So what you'll actually have to do first is once you pull up open the application on your desktop then you'll want to click the little three or four dots right here and click scan for devices your android phone must be on your uh wireless your home wireless because basically this is using your home network to connect to your phone you just click scan for devices here's my phone <laughs> note 20 ultra big dog that's what i named it got to stand out um, so you click it it's going to give you a code and on your phone show you here basically going to get the same code and you have to click ok i'll click ok and i'll click ok on the desktop and from there it should be synced up so now there's an option right here that says smart view once you click smart view you get a confirmation on your actual device and there you'll click start now and you'll see the smart view on samsung flow i'll go back to my desktop desktop screen and now you'll see my actual phone and you'll say okay now why is this important or why should i be using it? well one of the things is you can use this to actually um kind of control your phone hands-free so if you wanted to record some video or some content and you didn't want to have to try to touch your screen or you know use some kind of remote that doesn't have work um this will allow you to use this as if you were still holding the phone in your hand and you can kind of have your hands free use this um especially if you do like me i do a lot of content from my desktop a lot of times um, so this allows me to not only control my phone, but also do other things at the same time. This is this is one reason why I use Samsung Flow and been using it for a while. I use it a lot of times if I need to do content. I've done videos in the past with it. Um, if I'm multitasking, because you can also turn on basically notifications so where you can see notifications and respond to some text messages or whatever through your phone right from here like I can turn on notifications right now it's clear but over time this will fill up and you can see certain things or see text messages and there's a way that you can actually I don't have anything up there right now but you can actually respond from your phone or you can use just your regular application on your phone but this is a really really good application that allows you to take control of your phone remotely only on your home network I don't know if Mac users can do that. That used to be a thing that iOS had like disabled or didn't allow for you to have any remote access for your device. So I don't know if, it, if you can or can't, 
Apple users, you'll have to let me know. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a great tool and kind of a, a little hack to get multiple things done. And that's what I like to do with Beats and Tech is be able to show you ways to where you can get things done while at the same time being a one man show. If, if, if you don't have a team or people to actually help you get other things accomplished at the same time. So you can do multiple things. Another thing with that is also, and this is again with most of your Samsung uh, S series devices, there's a feature that's still on the phones, at least for now. I don't know how long it's going to be there called Samsung Dex and basically allows you to use your phone as a desktop. And all you would simply need is something like one of these devices. As a VGA monitor port, as a micro SD card slot, SD card slot, USB-C port, LAN connection, USB 3.0, as well as uh, HDMI port. And this will essentially connect to your phone and work as a docking station. And you could essentially use your phone as an entire desktop. And it, it works great. And the cool part is sometimes if you get certain applications through like the Play Store, um, those applications can take full screen. Say for instance, you have a video editing software I've used a, a program in a past called Kinemaster and Kinemaster opens up full screen and you can edit on your phone like you would a desktop using Samsung Dex or even uh, Samsung Flow because I'll show you another thing with Samsung Flow right quick. It rotates and then you can expand it full screen. So, I mean, there's just all kind of things you could do right here full screen without actually using your actual computer you can use the power of your phone i have a note 20 ultra it's probably more powerful than some most people's phone i mean most people's actual uh, computer desktop or laptop so which is funny to me but uh, that's a whole different story within itself um but in getting into uh samsung's decks i may do a uh, maybe like a small tutorial or something on that at another time because it's also another hack that people can use to save time or just make it a little bit more convenient if you don't have a powerful desktop but you got your phone you pay a lot of money for these phones why not use them to the maximum of their abilities so Samsung Flow Go ahead and check it out. The link will be in the description along with the link to Samsung Dex. You can read up on it, check it out, download it, play around with it if you want to. Again, it's only for Galaxy uh, S series phones. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a different shirt. I had some technical difficulties when I initially recorded the video uh, and then I had to come back days later and finish up the end part of it. So hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe to it. And I'll check you guys out next time on Beats and Tech. Peace.